Well, I wear glasses now. So, remember when my eye was red? I finally went to the doctor, but I didn't go into the doctor. They had telehealth this whole time. They could have been told me that. Well, she didn't tell me that. So I went to telehealth and I did hit my eye. And it's a combination of my eye being hit, my allergies because I'm allergic to pet dander, but I have a cat and I'm highly allergic to her. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was that and what else? Oh, she says I may have a viral eye infection. I know I don't touched my cat and like scratched my eye and just like messed things up so now i'm not I, I love her but i cannot pet my cat i can't i let her rub up on me but i can't i already let her don't she doesn't get on my bed or anything but she does sleep under my bed um she wants me to take claritin i cannot take claritin i have asthma i looked it up and it has something that begins with the e in it that will mess your system up if you have asthma so i can't take claritin i take fexofenadine because it's a non-drowsy antihistamine she is turning me look at this look at me lord have mercy so yeah so that's a thing now so these glasses are not prescription this was actually Ra's idea these oh and there's another aspect that i forgot to mention the fact that i'm in front of a screen eight to ten hours a day has been straining my eyes i even got a migraine oh let me tell you something else the doctor said about my eyes if you are a person who is in front of screens a lot during the day she said that you need to get a saline solution she specifically said not to use visine i'm gonna leave that at that so that you can constantly re-wet your eye because being in front of those screens dries your eye out which can cause other health problems like headaches and migraines and stuff like that and i've literally had three migraines in my entire life and I had one last week, and now I understand why. I thought I was dying. I never go to the doctor. I don't, I don't trust Western medicine. I like to be treated holistically, but my insurance doesn't cover that. So Moving forward, I ordered these blue light blocking glasses. This was Ra's idea. I didn't know that they existed. And, of course, y'all know I got it off Amazon. This was cool. Ra's are going to try to tell me they were ugly. They're not ugly. They are... I almost unordered them because I went back and it said fake. I was like, Roger, these say fake. And I thought it meant it's not really blue blocking glasses. It's a, a fake fashion or something. I don't know. I guess they're designed after fashionable glasses and they're just less expensive. Whatever. I'm not cool like that. I don't know what any of that means. So they sent me this. I don't know what this is. It says, please irritate the white square below with the blue ray generator. The stronger the blue light, the darker the color. It didn't come with any directions. And then it came with this thing. I don't know why they gave me that. But then I get one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of them. I think I paid like $8. Hold on. Let me go on Amazon and see how much I paid for these. Um, hold on. Four, okay, so this price is $15.99. I got it at 6% off. And so I paid $14.99 before tax. And they have all types of different designs. This is the one I got. And Roger's gonna say they're ugly. They are not ugly. He say that about everything. And who was the first person that begged me for them when they got here? Mm -hmm. And I told him no. I said, you should have minded your business. It was nice. So they, they gave me all six of those. And then it also came with this, which is cute. I appreciate that. This is actually what I use to wipe off my phone lenses. But, um,. It doesn't really clean it as much as I want it to be clean. Still some streaks on there. So I went back on Amazon and ordered a big old pack of those um, wet lens wipes. Yeah. So we got to get serious about our eye health, friend, because that really scared me. I knew that the eye strain had something to... Don't you always know what's wrong with you before you go to the doctors? I knew it had something to do with the fact that I had so much screen time. And I knew that I was going to have to make some changes. Uh, I have the night light option on my laptop and Judas said that they build in a blue light function to try to make it so it's not so strong but I, I don't know I think it's kind of like how coffee that's decaf still has caffeine in it I think it's one of those situations like they may have a blue light blocker but it ain't good enough because here I am with strained eyes and a red eyeball so somebody not doing their job but yeah, this is cute. I got clear. I have pink. Because I be trying to be girly sometimes. Like, I try. 
I really try. Like, I just got some earbuds because I'm working on two new songs. And Tazo, I also get these. Uh, these are really good for quality and um, for, like, volume. Yes. And they're also very affordable. I don't feel like hopping back on Amazon. It wasn't that much. It, it couldn't have been. It was less than $20. It was on sale. I think I only paid, like, $15. $16.99? something like that because i always catch a sale let me tell you what but yeah these are so cute i've had these before in black but see we all get stuff in black and it's too easy for my stuff to get lost when we all keep ordering the same brands so i needed to stick out but i also wanted to be girly so i got pink oh, i was just telling me these glasses ugly they ain't gonna be like they're not ugly and i already knew he was gonna do that i was like keep your gemini opinions to yourself nobody cares what you think yes so i'm doing Ooh, these are cute yes let's get my library yes so my eye still hurts and they she gave me the doctor gave me a medicated eye drop and then she told me to do maintenance with the saline i don't see me keeping up with the maintenance with the saline i i might but here's the problem right before she told me that maybe two weeks before she told me that i had either read an article or watched uh, something on YouTube about how eye drops, well, one particular brand was dangerous, but I don't remember finishing it, but that just implanted into my brain and I need to be careful with that. But saline solution, I think I'll just probably just buy a regular saline solution and just use it as an eye drop. Cause that's what eye drops are supposed to be. And all the other additives I don't need. So yeah, I'm about to start taking my eye health more seriously. I've been taking a lot of my health more seriously lately. I feel like I'm getting older. And I don't mind that. I don't have a problem getting older. I actually feel like I'm better now than I've ever been. And I just want to keep getting better. The thing that I want to work on the most is listening more than I speak. And not being so harsh when people are being stupid. Just maybe giving them a look and pausing and allowing them the opportunity to hear how stupid what they said was and allow them to course correct themselves. I'm just tired of saying the same things over and over and over and over and over again. And I know I'm not finna be arguing with these teenagers. Coming into my new season, that's dead. I'm focusing on my career and developing my spirituality. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start manipulating energy. I ain't come here to play. I don't necessarily enjoy being here on earth, but I enjoy being with my family. I don't enjoy the sucky parts like the smells and the overwhelming negativity the poverty that's really sad i don't like the violence you know towards women and minorities children I mean, anybody but them especially women and children are so precious like what's going on men are precious but it's like y'all get to be men y'all are men like come on now you get to be a man you know you special look at all the muscles and all that brain and all that logic like, does nobody want to be emotional? I'm just built that way. So my books I've been digging into, and I'm so proud of myself because I'm no longer one of those people that get books and don't read them. As you can see by the bookmarks, I've been reading all of them. So somebody on Twitter put me onto this book. I love Sister Sol Soldier. I read uh, The Coldest Winter Ever, which I just bought for Justice to read. Um, The kids sold me this for $15. Not they sold me a book. And then, oh, yes. This woman is amazing, and she's been inspiring me very much. Miss Seacole. And I've been painting. I finished my snake, and I worked on this, and I've got two new characters over here. Yeah. It's been a productive week, but everyone has been getting on my nerves. Like, everybody. When I say everybody, I mean my kids. Like, I don't, I don't, that's pretty much. But yeah, they're getting on my nerves. But not not because they did anything wrong, just because they exist. And they were getting on my nerves. They wanted to be in my face all day. And I was trying to work and just, like, be alone because they're a lot. They are a lot to deal with. Look at this bee outside. Look at this drone. Never mind, it went away. There are these big old bumblebees that don't give bumblebee. It gives drone. Just like some of these birds around here. My daughter has always said that pigeons are the feds. She has said that since she was like three or four. I'm like, you your daughter's child. How do you even know who the feds are at three? Girl, bye. But yeah, my children are very spiritual and they're growing into their gifts and their energy can be overwhelming sometimes. And 
I don't want to hinder them by always being there to correct them when they make a mistake. I'm in that era of having to learn how to let your kids make their own mistakes and fix them. Because for some reason, I'm about to kill this one. What is this? Some random flying bug? That's what I don't like about spring. What if I something happened to me? You know? Do they have all of the skills necessary to thrive? And so every day I've been focused on that. So now I feel like every interaction I have with them needs to be meaningful. And I keep just telling them, hey, are you watching what I'm doing? Are you paying attention to how I keep this house, to how I deal with business, to how I manage my emotions? Because there's a lot of y'all and I can't go up to you every day and preach to you these things. You have to see it in action. I'm teaching, I feel like that makes more sense. Getting them to observe me every day and learn, I feel like they'll absorb more lessons than me trying to actively teach them like out of a book. Observe me, watch how I move. That's why they have access to my phone, my emails, my text messages, my voicemails, because I want them to see how I take care of business. I want them to see how I move. I want them to see how I treat people. And that's why it's important that this spring, this summer, we get out. Oh, every time I did an event, we did three events in the past two years where they had music and you could sell your wares and you had a table. And I just, I got a table and I didn't sell anything. Oh, I made these little candy bags that had my business card in it that promoted my Spotify. So I was strictly there for promotion. But people were giving me donations, which was crazy. So I took my kids with me during that whole process from the time that I conceived the idea, I took them with me to go buy all the supplies. They sat there and watched me do 300 candy bags by hand. I recorded the whole process. They saw me get together everything that I needed, take care of the business, go to the event, and they saw how I dealt with people and how, you know, they're watching me build my business from absolutely nothing. They've been with me since the day that I walked out of rehab and I had nine people under my roof and I had to find a way to take care of everybody. I was the only one working at that time. And I took care of everybody. Everybody got fed. We even, and then we had uh, two animals. I had eight kids I was taking care of. Six of them were mine and then they brought two of their little friends because they were homeless and they needed a place to stay and I'm a sucker and I take care of kids and lost and broken things so I had to. You know, I don't even know who my parents are. The first six months of my life, I don't know where I was. I'm whole ass adopted, so, like, I get it. You know, I, I, I just, when people throw their kids out, I used to let them stay with me, even though I was struggling to take care of my own. It's just always been that way. But, no, I wasn't always struggling, but I've always helped other people. <laughs> but, yeah, it's all good, though. But, yeah, my kids been getting on my nerves lately. And they getting bigger. They get bigger than you, and they think they tough. Like, I will say two sentences to you and make you cry. You better leave me alone. I'm going to need to go clean that bug out my window, so though. That's what's crazy about living out in the mountains. I see bugs every year that I have never seen a day in my life. Y'all know anything about Maryland? Maryland has some very weird-looking bugs, but West Virginia's worse. I used to live in Martinsburg. This is Palo Santo. I used to not be able to stand the smell of Palo Santo, but I use it for creativity. You seen Zeta? I was frustrated last week and I've been challenging myself to turn my emotions into creative whatever. And I made this out of a hoodie and some jeans. Her name is Zeta. Say hi, Zeta. I'll be doing anything to heal. I'll do any dang one thing to heal. It don't matter. I love you. But Frank, you and I are going to have to reduce our screen time significantly and i have been i've been reading more writing more i've got a lot of projects coming up that i'm keeping myself busy with because i'm also recovering from a media addiction and i do know that sometimes i can use that as a crutch to not deal with my feelings so i've been making sure to consciously put aside time to just sit with my thoughts and i've been doing really good with that so moving forward in the next few weeks let's just take some time throughout the day two minutes Five minutes, 10, 15, just something. Start small and just take some time out to not be in front of media or indulge in any distractions and just see where your mind goes. 
we're gonna have to deal with this trauma one day one way or another so we might as well get started you got me wearing glasses